excess pressure excess pressure inside a soap bubble excess pressure inside a soap bubble we can draw the diagram of a soap bubble which has two free surfaces there are two free surfaces of soap bubble of radius r o is the center of soap bubble and this is the second surface of soap bubble or this is a soap bubble and there are two free surfaces and uh, r is the radius of soap bubble r is the radius of the soap bubble excess pressure p acts radially inwards on the concave side of the soap bubble p is the excess pressure which acts radially outwards in this direction p is the excess pressure excess pressure acts in all directions uh, radially outwards on the concave side of the soap bubble in this way and due to this excess pressure radius of the soap bubble increases by very small amount delta r this is uh, the increase in radius of the soap bubble due to excess pressure delta r is the increase in radius of the soap bubble let p be the excess pressure which acts radially out and on the concave side of a soap bubble of radius r and is be the surface tension of soap solution which acts tangentially which acts tangentially on the soap bubble the radius the radius of the soap bubble increases the radius r of the soap bubble increases by small amount delta r due to the excess pressure due to the excess pressure p which acts radially outwards the radius of the soap bubble increases by a small amount delta r due to the excess pressure which acts radially outwards this excess pressure acts radially outwards and radius r increases by very small amount delta r this is delta r is the increase in radius therefore work done work done by the excess pressure for changing the radius of the soap bubble work done by the excess pressure for changing the radius of the soap bubble by small amount delta r is work done is a product of force and displacement of the surface of the soap bubble therefore work done is equal in place of force we can write excess pressure into area of the soap bubble into displacement of the surface of the soap bubble therefore w is equal p into a into delta r where delta r is the displacement or small increase in radius now p into 4 pi r square into delta r that is the work done w equal p 4 pi r square delta r which is equation 1 or expression of work done again again the increase in surface area the increase in surface energy of the soap bubble due to change in radius or increase in uh, due to change in area is given by e equal s into 2 delta a where s is the surface tension of soap bubble this is equation 2 e equal s dot 2 delta a where where 2 delta a is the effective increase in area effective increase in area of the soap bubble due to change in radius 2 delta is the effective increase in area of the soap bubble due to change in radius as the soap bubble has the two free surfaces 
as the two free surfaces along which soap solution is in contact with air is in contact with air comma the effective increase in area of the soap bubble the effective increase in area of the soap bubble will be 2 delta a so bubble has two free surfaces that's why effective increase in area will be 2 delta a where delta a is the actual increase in area and 2 delta a is the effective increase in area of the soap bubble the factor 2 comes due to free there uh, due to two free surfaces now delta a equal 4 pi r plus delta r whole square minus 4 pi r square now the external area is 4 pi r plus delta r whole square and internal area is 4 pi r square therefore increase in area is a prime minus a equal 4 pi r plus delta r whole square minus r square 4 pi r square 2 r delta r plus delta r whole square minus r square 4 pi 2 r delta r delta r whole square 4 pi 2 r delta r plus 0 as delta r is very is a very small change in radius of the soap bubble delta r square can be assumed as 0 therefore delta a equal 8 pi r delta r again e equal a is dot 2 delta a equal a is dot 2 8 pi r delta r therefore e equal 16 pi s r dr e equal 16 pi s r dr which is the increase in surface area of the soap bubble due to increase in radius under the action of uh, the excess pressure as this increase in surface energy E is at the cost of is at the cost of work done W by the excess pressure is at the cost of work done by the excess pressure that uh, that's why you can write W equal E or W equal in place of W you can write E 4 pi R square delta R equals 16 pi S R delta R or comma p dot r equal 4s therefore p equal 4s by r p equal 4s by r which is the excess pressure which is the excess pressure acting inside a soap bubble p equal 4s by r where s is the surface tension of soap bubble now excess pressure p acts radially outwards on the concave side of the soap bubble and Surface tension at the point B acts along the tangent BT1. Surface tension is acts at an angle theta along the tangent and rectangular component of surface tension is that is S cos theta acts inwards and excess pressure P acts outwards. Due to excess pressure radius increases and surface tension surface tension is acts uh, uh, tangentially and soap bubble has a tendency to acquire minimum surface area due to surface tension S. Yes.